Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com. So today we're going to do some um, benchmark testing. Uh, let's try some Limpack testing first. Um, put all this here. Let's do Limpack um, single thread. Alright, we'll run it a couple times. 61.1, I mean, very respectable. 62 point something. Six, almost 64. Let me run multi-thread. Um, multi-thread is 86 um, 96 Wow 92 so give it about 60 64 for single thread and near 90 um, for multi-thread that is awesome um, before I get to booting this phone and next let's do quadrant one of my favorite tests And I've noticed the battery life is actually pretty good after a day um, because the 2500 milliamp battery, it's actually pretty big battery. Um, even though it's a big phone, it's it's a very big battery. So it's gonna it's gonna last you a full day versus um, other smaller phones. You're not gonna have as a big of a battery. So this thing running, this thing a little bit off there. Probably because the resolution's a little bit bigger than most. Actually, this is the this phone has more resolution than any other phone right now. Let's look at the benchmark results. I got 3440. Um, not too bad, not too bad. Here, let me zoom in there. I was getting like near 4,000 earlier, so it all depends. You know, if I run a couple more times, it might be better. And let's run Neocore. And we'll let that run. Benchmark. Oh yeah. Anyway, I really like this phone. Um, just because it's, I can take notes and stuff. It's not actually that big, you know. And the only thing I've noticed, I have to kind of get used to it. The, the phone's so big, it's a little bit harder to use with one hand. Um, but I think once I get used to it, it should be okay. But people with big hand, it might this phone might be perfect. Like people from Texas, you know, where everything's big, they might love this phone. It's actually work out. You know, you can actually push the buttons. Um, so we got the Neo Core, and uh, we're gonna do the Antutu test also. So 51.9. Um, that's okay. It's not terribly bad. I think it's probably um, limited by the software also, so we should think about that. And let's do N22 benchmark. Um, this should take a while, so I'm just going to let it run, and I'll be back. I don't want to waste any of you guys' time. Start test. So I'll be back when this is done. By the way, this is like the favorite part of um, N22. It's like, what the hell are they doing? They're just <laughs> chopping their sword. <laughs> That's supposed to be the test, which is, I, I like it. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back when this is done. I hope folks, uh, the results are in. Um, 64, 68. Let's submit scores and uh, find out how fast it is compared to other phones on the market. Um, so N22 submits scores. And uh, we should have an answer on how fast the Galaxy Note is. I, I mean, we already know it's pretty darn fast. Um, for those of you who want to wait, um, you'll have to wait a lot. Um, next year, they should have the quad core. So 64, 68, um, you can see at the top, Transformer Prime. Wow. I, actually, I need that. So this is stock without any overclocking. So it's 64, 68. I guess that's okay. Let's move on to more testing. Um, we did all of those. Let's do Nina Mark 1. All right. And let's find out the scores we get here. Um the screen resolution looks really good though. Let me let me zoom in there for you. Regardless of the benchmarking test. Looks really nice. You don't actually see the lines, that's, that's just my camera picking it up. 
but it's really nice, as you can see. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done. So, 56.6 frames per second. Well, not too bad. Let's do Nina Mark 2. Should be about the same. Um, Alright, let's try this. I believe the frames per second is limited um, by the operating system, so most most likely. So we're not going to get over 60. Um, but it looks really nice. Um, it's the same processor, uh, MP4, uh, Molly MP400, M400. Anyway, it's the same processor. Graphics processor is the same as the Galaxy S2. But the processor is faster, so it should indeed make it a little bit faster. So 33.9. I'm not sure what that number means. <laughs> Don't ask me why. And uh, finally, let's do some other testing. So let's go to the browser and do um, Sun Spider test here. Um, Sun Spider. Uh, is that 9.9? Yeah. We'll do this test finally. This will test how fast the web browser is, but I know it's pretty fast. Um, let's wait here. Okay. 0.91. And this is with my home Wi-Fi connected. Um, so we'll see how fast it is. Mm -hmm. But I, I really rely on the um, Limpack and Quadrant tests because those two are pretty much um, on par. And, uh, you know, based on the Galaxy Note, it's supposed to be faster than the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um, and it should be much faster than iPhone 4S, of course. And, uh, you know, it should be faster than the Galaxy Nexus. Um, but I have the Galaxy Nexus arriving here any minute, so I'll have a full benchmarking test of that. Um, and uh, I've got also some game reviews coming. Um, but, you know, this will end our testing. And, you know, once I got it overclocked to, I think you can get it overclocked to like 1.4 gigahertz. Um, so I've got 1726.6 milliseconds. I'm not sure what that means, but um, I will keep doing some more tests. Anyway, that was benchmarking test on the Galaxy Note. This is the unlocked international European version. Um, if you have any questions, any more benchmark you want me to do, don't forget to leave in the comment section below. Thanks, y'all. Subscribe.